English author Winifred Graham reported a bizarrely unnerving encounter when travelling the London Underground early last century. Graham was catching the train at the Hampton Court railway station and counted herself lucky to have found an empty carriage. At the next stop, Thames Ditton, a quite ordinary looking man entered the carriage and sat down at the far end opposite her. The two passengers took no notice of each other as Graham continued to read her newspaper. However, she was suddenly overcome with a powerfully ominous feeling about the man as an inner voice seemed to warn her to take notice of every detail of his appearance as she would have to identify him again. Fearing the worst after this psychic warning, Graham decided to obey her inner instinct and disembark at Surbiton, the very next station. Trying not to obviously observe him, she registered in her mind his face and build, the colour of his clothing, and in particular his small pile of four books fastened neatly together with straps. Feeling uncomfortable and nervous, she readied herself to jump out of the train at the next stop. However, before she had time to even rise, her fellow traveller calmly took his books under his arm, stepped off the train and marched away. Graham, suddenly relieved and amused by her senseless panic, stayed on board and dismissed the incident from her mind. Surbiton was a busy station and soon some other people had entered her carriage, with the train then proceeding towards Waterloo. Graham closed her eyes for a while, opening them again as they reached the next stop of Vauxhall to check which station they had arrived at. To her unutterable horror, she realised that the very same man who had previously alighted was seated in front of her. On his knee were the four books in their straps, as he sat very still, gazing quite calmly and normally at her. Knowing that this man had exited the carriage at Surbiton, Graham became frozen with terror. She got out and ran the full length of the train, wanting to put as much distance as possible between herself and the sinister phantom. On reflection, she wondered if the figure had some meaning in her life but was never to find out.